How y'all doing? What's up? Happy Saturday. Oh, they did the fence over there. I didn't see them do that. Mm hmm Look. They put new pieces up to their fence. I didn't see them do that. They must have did it yesterday. No, it couldn't have been yesterday because it's been raining here for like 24 hours. I'm so over it. I can't really get outside. I'm out of my patio, but I can't really get like outside to go do some stuff. And I... How do you like my shirt, my sweater? Something I brought from up north. I love it, it's an oversized comfy sweater. I just love it and it says snow problems. Like, I'm not gonna have those problems here in Florida but it is what it is. So happy Saturday, what y'all doing? I'm doing nothing. I'm in the house, I can't go walking, I can't really do anything because of the rain. I love this sweatshirt. It's oversized and it's comfy and it's cool, icky morning. This video isn't really going to be about much. I'm just checking in because I haven't really been able to get out of the house. I haven't really been doing much. Inside the house, I've been going through a lot of my old clothes and stuff like that because everything is getting too big. So I really can't wear it to where it looks nice on me anymore. <clears throat> so I'm going through a lot of my stuff and I'm going to be um, taking pictures of it and putting it up on my Poshmark. My Poshmark closet is called Style Used and if you want you go on there and check it out i am going through some stuff this morning i'm going to be listing all day probably today and maybe tomorrow Who unless knows? the weather breaks like we've been having so much rain here it's ridiculous um so i haven't really been able to get out of the house and go like do anything go walking and do anything really um so i'm kind of stuck here so that's what i've been doing i've been going through my own things um, as far as clothing and shoes and I've been listing them on my Poshmark closet So other than that not really much nothing really much is happening I think tonight for dinner husband and I are gonna make um, chicken thighs and I'm gonna have some cauliflower mash or cauliflower rice with that I haven't really decided yet and some Brussels sprouts. I've been craving them. I don't know why but some steamed seasoned Brussels sprouts the steamable bags oh, love them delicious but yeah, that's about it. Yesterday I made some peanut butter cookies, y'all. A three ingredient, which was peanut butter, which I used the natural Smuckers, I believe the brand is. It's natural peanut butter. And then I had one egg, one cup of peanut butter, one egg, and one cup of artificial sweetener of your choosing. So I used xylitol. And I made them, and they're okay. Nothing much today, you guys. I'm just going through a lot of stuff. I'm going through my own personal wardrobe and getting rid of things that don't fit me. Um, because I've lost 22 pounds now and um, things are looking kind of big on me. So I'm going to start selling that stuff. Might as well make a little cash on it if I can, right? And that's about it. Husband didn't have to work today. He went in super early. He had to be there by 4.30 this morning. So he was up 2 a.m. at work by 4.30 or work up at 2.30, work at work by 4.30, whatever his hours were. And then he was back home by 7 a.m. when I was waking up because it's been raining here so much that he can't work. So now he's kind of just in the house resting and hanging out because he's tired. And his freaking he sleeps with the CPAP machine, y'all, and because he has sleep apnea, and his freaking machine is taking his shit. It's not working. We don't know what's going on, so it's making him like super tired. So he's not sleeping right. So that kind of sucks. We're I'm looking into. Um, he needs to get another sleep study done now, and then go through a whole another sleep study. In order to get a new machine, which I think it's called Fisher Pecal, Pecal, something like that. And I mean, we don't really know what happened. We unplugged it to take it on vacation um, when we went up north. I think it was in March, September. Wait, <laughs> September. Oops, my curtain is gonna hit hit me in the head. September, maybe. I think we went in September. So ever since then his machine has not really been working right so we kind of have to like take it apart every night and it's just something that I found on the internet to try to fix it and so we take it apart every night take the bottom off they think because of the humidifier in the machine that it's getting moisture on like the circuit board so we you know use the blow dryer and 
blow over it and then put it back together and then it turns on well it hasn't even been working when we do that now it's totally just now turning off and it's just not working and that machine it might be five years old but i don't even think it's that old because no i really don't think it's even that old but anyway so i'm working on figuring out how to get him a new machine so he can sleep better because it's really scary like when i'm sleeping at night y'all he wakes up yelling I remember when we first started dating and he, <laughs> he did that shit in the middle of the night because he, he, he literally stops breathing. And it's not funny because, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a serious matter and it's not funny. But he woke up when we first started dating. He, you know, I knew that he slept with this machine. It's not a big deal for me. It's not like a deal breaker or anything. So I knew he slept with this machine and we're just in the middle of the night sleeping all of a sudden i hear this like loud ass scream like bah! and he yelled so loud like he, someone was killing him and i almost fell out of our bed like i jumped and it scared the shit out of me um because it's it scared me so bad like i literally jumped a, you know i jumped and i was awake and i was like what the hell is going on and he's like i can't breathe my poor husband, like, it's horrible. I feel for him. So anyway, we are going through that right now. We're looking into that because it makes him exhausted. Because, you know, if you know anything about sleep apnea, you can't sleep. Because you stop breathing, you know, during the night and what have you. So he's not sleeping well. And, you know, we need to get him a new machine now and figure out how we're going to do that. Because those suckers are not cheap. You know, so, you know, it's life. It's all about money. It's all a money game, ain't it? Anyway, yeah, we're going to grill up some chicken thighs later. And husband has the grill. It's sitting right here in front of me. And we just, we just use a charcoal grill. That's what we prefer. We like the flavor of it. And because he can use a smoked, like, charcoal, I think it's hickory smoked. And it makes the chicken turn out so delicious. Not much going on. We can't do a lot because of this rain. I know, you really can't. Right now, it's just like a drizzle. And it's just so annoying because we can't do anything outside. My plants are just... I mean, it's December. I'm not complaining because it's still... I'm perfectly comfortable in this little snow problem sweatshirt I have going on. And I'm perfectly comfortable. It's just that I miss the sun. You know? One of the reasons I moved here, hello, was for the sun. But it is December, and it's almost Christmas, so I'm not going to complain. Because I'm sitting out here, and it's probably 70 degrees, at least. Okay, we don't grow grass, as you can see. Here's my yard. Oh, that's a um, big oak tree, by the way. That one is a mango tree. But it hasn't, it doesn't, it hasn't fruit, fruited, fruit. It hasn't made fruit. It hasn't produced fruit um, since I've lived here. And I've been here just over a year now. And my little mango tree has not produced fruit. Because last winter we had a freeze and it killed it pretty much. And I think it takes like three years or something like that for it to produce fruit again. Or however that works. I love plants. But um, <clears throat> my front yard is pretty. I don't want to... Oh, I could show you. I could show you my front yard and my front flowers. Let's see if it's raining like super bad. My front porch. It's my neighbors, if you can hear them. They're Greek. They get a little loud. That's Nomi. I brought him from Wisconsin. This plant will flower purple. I had some plants in here and then they died. Look at my giant aloe. Isn't that huge? How big it grows. That's my poinsettia from last year. And it looks a little dreadful. <laughs> but, oh look, it's starting to get some red leaves on. It's starting to turn red again. Maybe I should put it a little closer so it can get some sun. Because right here, here's another aloe. Right here is where I, I planted all these, you guys. I didn't have any of this. Um... So these have all grown quite well, actually. Where's this growing to? Oh, it broke. 
Oh, it's starting to rain. Gotta go. See how it just... And I planted all that. It's my little... So fitting for Florida, isn't it? <laughs> and my little frogs. This is my porch. Big oak tree in my front yard. If we ever get a storm, that might come down on us. But I don't think so. It's pretty large. And here's some little baby palm trees. Aren't they the cutest? I love them. They have grown a lot. I've only lived in this house for about a year. My bird bath is full. Banana plant. I love it. Look at how it's growing. About to get a new leaf. I love it. I planted all of these crotons. Oh look, they're finally starting to grow. Oh, getting wet. So my crotons, I mean, look what happened. <laughs> they're not growing. I don't know why. There's another palm. That'll be cute. I wish he might I rent, so I wish my landlord would get rid of this tree, but I don't think he will. Love it. These guys are growing so big. Love those. This is, we cut it down, but it keeps coming back. So I'm going to have to have husband. It just is an ugly plant. Seriously. There's another croton. Another palm. I have a bunch of palms in here. One. There was another croton around here somewhere, but it died off. Looks like, yeah, it was right there. Where? Right there. It died off. There was another one that died off. Not sure what's happening, but these guys are getting big. They're finally starting to grow. Another croton. So yeah. Ooh, husband's awake. I can hear him. And now I'm back. I'm back on the patio. I have this. These used to be really big, and I don't know, I don't know if they have a mite or bug or something. I don't know, because you can tell by the, I don't know, maybe I need to put some more dirt in there. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a plant expert. I love these, but if they would just get bigger. This, I mean, everything looks like it's dying and whatnot because it got so cold the last few weeks, and... This is the same as the red that I have in the front, but they're not looking so good. I had to bring um, Jojo, my other plant, inside because this one's supposed to be nice and pretty and red. Not looking so good because we need the sun. This just goes to show how long it's been since we've had some sun. Some good sun, anyway. All day. Lizards aren't even out here. That's my little tour of my yard and the plants that I have in here in the yard and stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to go in and make some lunch um, for husband and I. I think we're going to have hot dogs and eggs. Sounds like a good keto lunch to me, and I'm hungry. So, I don't know, friends. Sorry, it's just a random vlog. I know. I'm not up to much. Everything's good. We're all We're doing well. And I'm going back inside now and look at this curtain. The wind is blowing. <laughs> so I'm going to get back inside now and I'm going to make hot dogs and eggs for lunch for husband and I. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Thanks for supporting me. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye-bye.